Hello all and welcome back to the channel. We are sitting here sipping on a little bit of cider over here at Sam's Cider on the new map of Six Ashes. I thought we would give this a whirl. I've taken a kind of a quick look. I've spent about maybe five minutes or so roaming around seeing what we got. Now I did watch a little bit of Goham when he was doing his farm sim news on this map and it just looked like it was pretty good. Everything I've seen it seems to be a top-notch map. The graphics seem to be really good. Everything seems to be well done, which is, uh, well, I mean, most maps are fairly well done anyway, but some are just a little bit of a, wow, I cannot believe we made that up here. Getting up in the world, as they say. So, anywho, I, uh, I've been impressed with a little bit that I've seen of it, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So, let's, uh, let's get our butt over to the new farm. And, uh, well, not really our farm. I guess this is our, uh, it's the way it's supposed to be. The backstory is our grandpappy passed away. How sad that is. But he left us a farm and with a little bit of equipment, a little bit of cash. And he said, hey, good luck. So let's get over there. I think it's that way, I do believe. But the quickest way would be to tab it. Oh, I need to take care of that. We still have that on. So let's pull this up here let's go into settings uh we do not want it to save we'll decide when we say time scale let's go easy for that uh traffic on yep 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 that we want off fuel usage i like default now these will just shut off we don't want them buying nothing for sure plant growth is fine crop destruction i usually turn that off Plowing, they leave it off, so as will I. Now, I usually, with uh, lime and weeds, I will turn one off and one on. So, lime is on here. We will turn weeds off there, and that should be good. So, now we've got our settings. Let's go ahead and save it. Beautiful. Now, let's get on out of here. Shut that off. Okay, so this is where our equipment is. It is definitely a little trashy. Grandpappy was a slob, evidently. So what we can do is, if you don't know, most of you probably do, but if you do not, you just go into uh, your garage here, and you scroll on over, and decorations. And you say goodbye. So you make 100 bucks, and the scrappers came in and cleaned it all up. So that lets us have access to all of our equipment. Now, I do want to come in here and, of course, we'll clean all of this up. We'll bring a mower in or something to take care of it. This is, uh, what do we got? We have a subsoiler over here. We have a weeder. And we have a couple of pieces of equipment. We got a little trailer. Uh, the tractor, like I said, I really, I like the tractor. It's got 150 horsepower. That should do us for a while. I don't know if we'll need the truck. And the harvester... Let's, uh, let's see the specs on the harvester here. Rolling on over. Uh, the bison, I mean, it's great for what it is, but it only holds 3,500 liters. I, I really don't think that's going to do us any good at all. And the headers, look at that, 4.2 meters? No. Uh, 3 meters? Mm, no. We're not doing that either. I don't need a subsoiler. And uh, we just said we don't do weed, so we don't need that. I'm just, let's just sell it. Okay. I know I would probably get a little bit more cash if uh, I took it to the store and sold it. But what are you going to do? And we need to think about the bison. I don't think I'm going to keep it. I just, I just think it's too small. I mean, if we come out here and we look at this field, well, it's kind of hard to see. Hold on. Let's get... Let's get a better look at this field here. All right. Now, there we go. We can kind of see what we're talking about. Look at the size of that thing. Could you, I, I was going to say, could you imagine, but I'm going to guess that a few of you have probably hopped in your bison and went ahead and harvest this, harvested this field with it. Now, and that's all dandy, but... My goodness, I do not want to spend two hours harvesting this field, especially since it's going to be good for about, oh, 
two minutes worth of video. <laughs> I don't, nobody wants to watch me do this. Even fast forward, the speedy would still be ridiculously long. So I just don't think it's going to fit. So this is our farm. This side looks very nice, looks very pretty. And if you look, everybody else's looks immaculate, very well manicured. And then you come over here. Well, not so well manicured here. So what I'm thinking we're going to do to start off is we'll harvest our field. And then I want to come in and I want to clean this up and see what we have to work with and decide, do we want to stay here? Do we want to sell it and go somewhere else? What do we want to do? We need to figure that out. But let's uh, let's get some cash. Then let's get this cleaned up and then we will go from there. So off with that. And ah, look, there we are. Okay, so I guess with that, all of that spewing, let's go ahead and let's just sell the buys on. I think I just sold both headers anyway. So goodbye. It was it's sad to see you go. I will keep that little trailer. So we need we need a harvester then. Uh what do we want? Now I start getting up into these, and these are a little pricey. We do not have a whole bunch of cash. The Rasta mash is okay, but it only holds 4,500 liters. The Massey, I like it. Huh. You know, I'm thinking this John Deere, what does that, that holds 10,000 liters. You know, I'm trying not to go crazy here. Let's take the Massey. Let's do it. Okay. How much does it cost? Oh, 10 grand a lease. Oh, yeah, we'll stick with standard. We are poor, poor, poor. Now, we are definitely going to have to get a loan, especially if we want to expand the farm at all to be starting off with. Okay, now we need we need a header. Just regular old header here. And what do we got? Uh, there's the Rasta mash. That's nine meters. That's not bad. I don't think our harvester can handle much bigger than a nine meter. But here's my thing. I can get this one for 58.5 and it goes six miles an hour. Or I can scroll on this way. And I know we were using this one uh, at La Coronella. It's the same thing, only it goes 15 miles an hour. So I think I think we have to pick this one. We just have to. So it only makes sense. Do we have something? Oh, Massey. Perfect. Uh, design color. Do we have anything else for Massey Ferguson? Ferguson? I like the garlic. I think that looks good. Or rim color. What shall we go with? How about Onyx? A little something different. <laughs> All right. I think that's it. Let's uh, Let's head to the store. Let's pick up our stuff. And boom, we are here. Did I not rent the thing? Oh, I'm a maroon. Yes, I am. My goodness. Let me go ahead. Let's get that and get that thing over here. And there we are. Magically, it has appeared. So we are going to grab this and now exact. I let me pull up a map here real quick and let's make sure I know which way I am going. So our store is up here and we need to head down this way. So we can just come out, take a left, take a right, and we should be on our way. Alrighty, I will see you at the farm. Well, I have to say, these are some narrow darn roads. My goodness. There is no problem with that. Okay, that's the horse one. I'm like, should I turn there? Well, I can see our field. There it is. But I think the entrance to our farm is down here and around the corner. There is where we need to be. My goodness. There it is. We got her. No problems at all. So, what, how, what, 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 and how do we want to go about doing this field? I definitely think we need to run ourselves a couple of headlands at least. 
we can get uh, the left side of it there, or the top. I, I'm not really sure. It's kind of crooked. The left topish, <laughs> the leftish top, uh, is kind of straight. So I think a couple of headlands there. Same thing on the other side. I think a couple of headlands are going to do us just fine. So let's pull up my menu here. And we need to unfold the header. We need to unfold the harvester. There it is. Look how clean and pretty this thing looks right now. We are going to fix that. And it is on. Now this is canola, so we don't have to worry about a straw harvest. Back up a wee bit. It seems a tad bit loud. There we are. There we are. And we have started. And this is definitely a decent sized field. Let's turn that menu off there. There we go. Back up just a bit there. That's a little better for my ears anyway. I hope it wasn't hurting your ears. I know it was a little loud for me. But sometimes what I hear is not the exact thing you hear. I try to look on my uh, monitor there to see, uh, see if it's in the right parameters. And it seems to be doing well. Now why are... Uh-oh. We're slowing down. Are we going uphill? Not really. Oh, it could be enough though, couldn't it? This harvester is a little bit lacking in the horsepower. So I think what we're going to do is run through here. Let's run our few headlands. Let's get this thing knocked out. And then we can try to see how much cash we get and figure out what we want to do. I know I want to clean up the yard first before we decide whether we want to keep this farm or sell it. Let's clean up the yard, look around, see see what kind of room we have to expand and put down the things that we know we're going to need. And once we get that done, and then, uh, then we'll make a decision whether we're going to stay here or we're going to go somewhere else. So for right now, let's, uh, let's just rock a couple of headlands and see if we can get this thing uh, rocking, moving. Well, okie dokie, I did not think this through. Let's... Uh, grab this and I know we have a trailer over here but this trailer only holds that tree will have to be gone <laughs> that'll be one of them that leaves this thing only holds 8,000 liters I believe let's uh, head on over here and see about emptying this thing out at least as much as we can I like how they make everything dirty and well used. When I looked at my harvester, the one they gave me, it had it said it had like 400 hours or something on it. There we go. All right, we should be able to get most of it out of there anyway. I think we'll have about 600 liters left. That's not too shit. Well, that's a lot. We're going to be making some trips unless I go and get ourselves a new trailer, which I might. We might do that. We're going to give this one a shot. Actually, while that's emptying out, we might as well go ahead and come over here and look, don't you think? So that one at least does 2,100, and it's not too bad. Because we have the... We have this guy here, the first one, the 802... Well, that, oh, because that's one of those. Now, see, this is probably the guy I'm going to get right here. It's not going to be a huge amount, but it'll handle a little more than two full harvesters full. Main color. I like those colors. I think the colors look fine. I don't need that. Oh, you can... Well, I think we're sticking with the trailer board right there. Let's uh, let's go ahead and lease that as well. All right, good deal. So we're sitting there just fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, uh, shut that off. Let's hop in the tractor, go grab the other trailer, and then I'll meet you guys back here in the field. 
Alrighty, let's get up here and let's park this guy. Right here, I think. Right behind this. Might not be close enough. You're probably right, it isn't. Let's back it up a little bit. There we go. This should do right here. Alright, shut her off. Run right over here. See if we can get this thing rocking and rolling. Now, we should be able to get a little bit longer on this guy now than we did the first time. Let's hope our header... Ooh, that was a little glitchy. I don't know if you noticed that, but... This header has given us some problems in the past. Let's hope that it uh, is very smooth this time. I have no idea how much crop we're going to get off of this field. I don't... Well, I did notice that it, uh, it needed plowed. It probably needs lime. It doesn't have any fertilizer. So my expectations are a tad bit low, as can be expected. With that being said, let's uh, let's uh, kick it up a notch. Let's move it. Okie dokie, I think we are full. So now what I think I want to do is I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but I want to set a worker over here. And with that big old tree stuffed in the middle of our field, I don't know how well that's going to go. But I guess we will find out. Let's see here. All right. Are you ready? And go. So he's going to go at an angle. I don't like that. I don't like that angle. So now, let's see. There's a... I think maybe we should head up to the top of the field. 
Let's give that a whirl. There was kind of, I squared off a place up there. Let's go see if that works. So I'm hoping this area right here is gonna work out pretty good for us. The lines in the field run that way. So I was hoping by squaring this off a little bit that maybe, there we go. And that is, oh, that's some distance there too. All right, so let's, uh, let's jump over to this guy. Now, I think we should be able to grab the other trailer, right? We should be able to do that. Let's go over here and see if we can take both of these. And then I guess we're going to have to figure out uh, where are we going? I do not know. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. Oh, yeah. No problem at all. So with this we need to sell canola and it's going up oh now i hate to sell when it's going up because it just started going up i looked earlier and i think the grain co was actually less than the severn valley stores so do we hold off and see what we, I don't know. We need the cash. Very, very difficult to decide. Now I could speed up time just a little bit. Why don't we do that? Let's speed up time just a wee bit. It, and we'll see, we'll see what it does. Let's uh, take a quick look. Is it going up quick or is it going up slow? Oh, it seems to be going up relatively slow. Usually when it's going up slow, not always, when it's going up slow, it's not, uh, it's not going to go up very high at all. Well, and just like that, the arrow is uh, gone away, so I guess that is it. That is where it's going to be, so let's back this back down. And I did not set a marker to where we need to go, so we're going to the Grain Co. Let's tag it. Tag it and bag it, baby. Oh, wait, no, uh, something different. <laughs> something completely different. Where is it? Come on, where are you at? Flashing. Come on. Am I just, sometimes I'm just, there it is. I'm blind, just like that. So, okay, we need to go back up to where the uh, store is and then take ourselves a right. So that's what we're going to do. Whoa, I think we have found it. So, oh, what do we got? We have, oh, cute. I don't think I can back both of these trailers in here. Let's open that up. Is it a drive through No. Who does that? Who does that? I guess we're going to have to do this one at a time. Or, I mean, I could attempt to do it two at a time, but it could get really, really ugly. And you guys would probably get really tired of watching me. There we go. We just barely squeezed in there. How much are we going to get? Man, it is going up nice. We're going to be well over. I think we're going to be well over $200,000 by the time we get these two dumped. Almost by the time we got one of them done. All right, so let's pull this guy right here. Swing around, grab that 48 grand. Now, I don't know if we're going to get another full trailer out of this or not. I did see that our uh, helper is already at 80%. They're probably really close to being full now. Really close. But I think it takes a little bit more, what, two and a half, something like that. Okay, let's dump it out. Let's go see, let's go see, let's go see. Come on, I want to watch. There we go, there we go. Money going up over 200 grand. Sweet. Money, money, money. That's what I say. Another 18. So, uh, I, yeah, okay, let's. Let's do this. Drop that there. So we will pick it up. Now I do have to say this truck, this truck, this tractor, 
is working really, really hard to pull these two grain trailers full all the way here. Because there's some hills on this map. There we go. Hopefully they will do better nice and empty. And traffic. Man, traffic boogies on this map. I like it. Usually they're going, you know, what, 10 mile an hour or something ridiculous? But this one, they are they are motoring on pretty darn good. So, okay, I will uh, see you all right back at the farm. And they are full. Did... Now, yeah, I don't think we're going to get a whole, a full trailer out of this. But whatever we get is going to be good. And it's going to definitely give us a little bit of cash. I was not expecting... Uh, to be honest, I, what's going on? Stop it. I know the helper. Get out of there. There we go. I was trying to fire him. I was hitting every button but the right button. <laughs> you would think when you've got thousands of hours on a game that you would know what buttons do what. But somehow I end up with a, a brain fart here and there. And I'm like, oh, wait, how do I? T I don't go in that one. Corn found it. That's my own fault. I did it. <sighs> Our nation but I do I forget what buttons do what I'm like oh, wait how do I turn the beacon on how do I turn the beacon on see I just had to show you that I could turn the beacon off <laughs> oh yes indeed so I think we will probably take over for the helper now rocking and roll I don't think we'll finish off with a speedy though I think you guys have probably uh, had enough uh, enough of that. So I'm just going to get around here and let's see if we can get this thing hammered out. And then we'll see what our uh, bank account looks like when we're all done. And there it is. The field is done. Now, I don't know if all of this is going to fit in there. It looks like it should. But sometimes looks can be a little bit deceiving. I think it's going to fit in there just fine. I'm hoping so. Well, you know, you kind of hope for it to fit, and then you hope it doesn't. Oh, well, sure. Oh, yeah, we got her. No problem at all. Oh, really? <laughs> 52 liters. Now, I don't know. We're going to dump this in our other trailer over here, and we have a silo. So I think what I'll do is I won't bother taking this little one all the way back to the cell point. We'll just dump this in the uh, our own little silo there. And that, that'll be all right. I mean, it's not really that much. I think there's a couple hundred liters in there. And boom, there it is. One thing I have discovered, or decided anyway, is... Let's shut this off. There we go. Is... That tree is going to go. There's really no reason for that guy to be there. And if we have to plow this field up anyway, I mean, really, what is it doing? Yes, it looks pretty. I know, I know. Somebody's probably going to say, don't ruin the map. But that's what it's for. If they didn't want it to be changed, they would make it so it couldn't change. But you do. it just makes it a pain in the butt to be doing this. And you could just straighten it all out. We'll get rid of it. We'll level out the ground. Now, we do have some trees that are buried pretty deep here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll chop them down. But really, that's the top of the tree, not the bottom of the tree. So we'll do our best with that. Hopefully, it'll work out just fine. If not, well, so it be. That's all you can do, you know. Do the best that you can do. Okay, so let's uh now I'm going to I'm going to go through here cuz they didn't leave me an out. They should have left me an out. And look at that. We're out. So we're just fine. I'll see you at the cell point. I do wish they would have made this cell point kind of a, a you know, a drive through. But what are you going to do? I guess sit here and go boo hoo, I suppose. I mean, it's not horrible that we have to back up. 
There it goes, there it goes. So I'm expecting that we should be right at about 150, maybe high 50s, maybe? Yeah, it should be high 50s. There it goes, there it goes. Ooh, so close to one, or 260. Sweet. Now, we need to decide. Well, we don't have to decide right now, but I am still, don't, ooh. Man, these guys, maybe I should look both, I know, I know, I'm a bad driver. I should look both ways. I should do all of that. But we need to figure out, anyway, we figured out that I'm a bad driver. We've got that one figured out. Now we need to decide what we want to do. And I am really thinking, the first thing I want to do is I want to buy another field. And we can still sell this farm if we so desire. I can't see nothing. If we still want to sell it, we can still sell it and still have an extra field. But I'm, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I think I want to keep it. I, I don't know if the yard is going to be big enough, but if it's not, we can always expand into the field that we have if we need to. There's that little uh, jetty that comes out right by the farmyard that's kind of awkward anyway. So. I want to buy another field mainly because we have the equipment already rented so to make it worthwhile we can uh, go ahead buy another field and then we can get it harvested and i know there were a couple of fields in close proximity to our farm that have two fertilization states on them now i didn't cheat them in i didn't do anything like that that's just the way they are uh, so I'm thinking if we can buy one of those at a decent price, maybe we can make some money, get another piece of property, and uh, go at it that way. So I think I'm going to buy it right now so nobody harvest it, but then I think I want to go ahead and try to clean up the farm just a little bit. So I don't want too much of a, too much equipment parked throughout the yard here because we need to uh, we need room to be moving around I think cleaning it up is gonna make a huge huge difference so we can get these out of here now we have the hedgerow over here and I am gonna definitely remove some trees but I am not going to remove all the trees in the hedgerow because as I looked around uh, some of the other map part of this map some farms had trees in the hedgerows just not quite as overgrown as this these are so maybe we'll keep some, that one look at that that's even crooked that's cool i like that that's attention to detail right there make it grow crooked <laughs> so all right let's get it let's uh let's pull up the map let's we'll see what we want where are we at uh we're right here okay so if I back up just a wee bit here, we have things that have been fertilized to states. Now, that is weird because I could have swore that 44 was not fertilized. And now it shows that it is fertilized both states. And that's what? Oats? Because I'd looked at 44 and I thought, well, it's not fertilized, so I don't think I want it. But for whatever reason, now it shows that it's fertilized. It doesn't need lime. Ooh. Now, 43 is, I think, grown. Yes, it's grown. 48, we could do it. What do we got? We got soybeans in 48. So I am thinking right now, we either go 44 or we jump over here and we do 48. What is... Oats. Oats is on the rise right now. That's not too shabby. Uh, how about straw? Well, straw is what straw is. You're not going to get a whole bunch out of it. I suppose we could try to do pellets. No, never mind. Strike that. I didn't say that. We are not doing pellets. No, 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 no. I don't care how much you're selling pellets for. I'm not doing any pellets. So it looks like, oh, man. So we're at 1300 for oats. Soybeans are 21, but going up. Oh my goodness. 
that is that is very difficult to decide. I I don't know what's the well, not that stop it. So what is the price? That is one hundred and sixty five. That is one forty one. So now, wait, oh okay, I see. I saw when it was like this. It looked like all one field, but it is not. They split it off into an extra little field there. Oh, this has something in it as well. Let's do 48. Let's do it. Let's buy it right now. Okay, we bought 48. That's perfect. Okay. So we got it. Now it's ours. And it had two fertilization states, right? I'm questioning myself here. No. It did not. Well, Pooey. I should have maybe bought the other one. Oh well, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Now we need we need some equipment here. We need some kind of mower and we need something to cut down all the trees with. And I know what I'm gonna use for trees. I think everybody should know what we're using for trees. Uh forestry machines. For me, it's this guy right here. T-Rex, it is very expensive for sure. But my goodness, it does a good job. And I have to get olive. That's the only color that makes sense for me. Is olive. If that doesn't look forestry, then I do not know what does. So let's lease that. Boom, that was easy, quick, painless. And now we need mowers. Now, I don't think. What do we got? Oh, yeah, but then you got to get ahead and all of that. Okay, we don't want that. So, mower, 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 mower. Where do mowers go? Oh, mowers right down here. So, I don't need much. I don't need a, a, a monster. I don't need all of it. What is that? That is how wide? That's 3.6, 3.1, 3.2. What is that? That's interesting. What is that? So you just pull it behind? Huh. That's a that's that's an idea. Oh, that's four meters. That's kind of small. Well, it's bigger than those, isn't it? Let's do it. Let's try this one. I I've never used it. I've never tried it. Well, by golly. Let's uh, let's do it. It's probably not going to be the best, but I think it should work really well for what we need. Now we need to get down to the store. We need to pick up. Well, yeah, let's get to the store here. Now this goes. It does go twelve mile an hour. All right. Can we pull this guy with it? Whoa! Simmer down. Stop that. We can! Hot! Whoa! What's it all freaky deaky in on me for? I don't... Ah! Obviously, I can't drive this guy very well at all. Okay, so we've got it. We've got our equipment. Let's get back to the farm. Let me... I'll look both ways here. You guys gotta let me go. Alright, let's get back to the farm. And let's get this done. Okie dokie. So, let's let that guy off. And now, I think... We got some cleaning up to do. We's definitely got some cleaning up to do. Now, I don't like this guy. But not that. Let's pull up our menu so we can see exactly what we got to do. There we go. Now, sometimes these trees right here can be a real bear. They just, uh, they're just little bits, little pieces. Usually you can get it done, but sometimes it takes a little bit of patience and you have to come at it from different angles. So let's, uh, let's just see if we can get our butt in here and get most of this stuff out of here. Because remember, when they put these in, these are the tops of the trees. So there's a lot that they've got to be doing. As far as grinding, the, not the modders so much as the machine has a lot that it's got to try to get out of there. 
And I usually try to go through, get the bigger limbs off, get those out of there. The only other alternative is to sit there and dig a big old hole and cut it there. But I, I prefer not to do that because it just makes it so much more work. But we'll see. We'll sit here and we'll play with this, see if we can get it gone. And then we'll come back uh, once I get rid of this one and we'll see what else we gotta get rid of. Well, that guy wasn't too bad. He went away right after I stopped recording. That's always the way it goes. Let's see, can we find what we're looking for in here? There we go. We don't want this big guy. It's gotta go. There we go. Come on, clear it all out of here. Let us see. See what we got for a farmyard here. They definitely uh, put some forest in here, didn't they? Now I said, I really, I don't want to get rid of all the trees. I just want to make sure that it's a usable, usable space when we get done. As they say, Grandpappy there, he just kind of let things get out of hand. And it's our job to come in and uh, make it a working farm once again. Yeah, look at that. We're starting to let a little sunshine shine on through. It's so hard to see. Oh, I missed something back here. That's all right. We'll get to it. We'll get to it, especially when they're all spread out like these. Get rid of these junk trees. We don't want them in there. Okay, so I'm going to go through and do this a little bit more here, there, and yonder. And uh, I will touch base with you and let you guys see what's happening and how it's going. Well, I have had to change my strategy a tad bit. I ended up buying a chainsaw and uh, going at it that way because the T-Rex is really good, but it is not really doing it for this. Ooh, come on there, baby. Drop it down a little bit here. Push. Hopefully it will get the uh, stumps out of here. Did I, oh, I don't think I got it in the cell point. We are trying, trying, trying. So what I did is I went ahead and I went and got here. I'll show you. I'll show you exactly what I got. So I came in here. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Keep on, keep it on. Come on. I, it takes a while, I guess. <laughs> Is I got this, the lizard wood selling trigger. This particular trigger leaves, when you delete it, it leaves everything exactly the way it was. It doesn't even mess with a blade of grass, which is exactly what I wanted. I didn't want to mess any of this up. I just want some of the trees out. And I want to tell you, this has not been an easy process at all. Grandpa grew some tough trees. That's what I got to say. Because these guys are a bear. I have been working on these for way, way too long. All right, so there's that. So now, I already sold one, and I got almost five grand for it. And boom, there's another. So we've made about $6,000 from it. Now, I still have these. This little stuff here. We will be able to come through with the T-Rex and clean that up. Find any of our stumps, I hope. Well, at some point in time, we'll find them. <laughs> That's for sure. So I'm just going through. I've cut down big ones like that. Over here, we've cut down. I think we got a couple trees over here. Now, Trick is going to be getting all this wood over to the cell point. I don't have anything to grab it, but I do have the T-Rex, which will push it pushes it with no problem if you can find the right spot. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to keep on keeping on, see if we can get some more of this stuff cleaned out and sold. If we can make a few bucks doing it, well, I am all for that. And I am, I'm going slow just so I can kind of see how it transforms. I think I'm going to get rid of this tree as well. I haven't done it yet because like I said, I want to go slow, sneak up on it, you know. Now that's a nice big full tree. I will probably keep that. 
but some of these may stay for now and go later on when we start uh, changing the uh, farmyard all up for our uh, our equipment so okay i will see you here in just a few so this is what i've had to resort to and it's worked for the most <laughs> this is i basically i have to get in there and pick the t-rex up and kind of twist him around and try to get him to oh nope too much too much try to get this guy to do what it's supposed to do now i don't know if it's the t-rex that's giving me fits or if it's well I, I have to say it's the trees because i'm trying with the chainsaw and also and oh i think i went a little too far little too far but i got this little don't oh, come on just get the stomp this last stomp it's uh as you can tell it is definitely fighting me a little bit there it is come on let's make that stump disappear oh there it goes hot diggity dog all right you can just rest over there my goodness now i do not know if you're on console to be honest i don't know that you want to tackle this this has been ridiculous it has made a huge difference but there are still trees I can't get. This guy right here, I can't touch. I can't touch with the T-Rex. I can't touch with my chainsaw. Nothing. It will have no part of it at all. Oh, wait, look, we have a little bit of lumber here. There, we made, wow, $1,100 off of that. As you can see, we're up to about 135, almost 135. So we've made money and it is definitely looking better for sure. I got rid of uh, two trees here. There was one right here in the corner. And then there was another one here in between. I think there was anyway. I, th I think I got rid of two there. I've gotten rid of most of these. I kind of left this guy back here just because I, I don't know if there's anything I can do with it anyway. And this one was having no part of me cut it either. But I think for right now... I think we're going to be done with the here. There we go. Get rid of that noise maker. I think we're going to be done with the trees for just a little bit. But what I do want to do is let's grab our tractor. Let's grab the mower and let's go through and clean up what we've got. Because I think that is going to make a big difference here. Let's uh, let's fly a little bit and let's see what we got. Okay. Now, to be honest, if I had to do over again, that already looks a lot better. I would like to get that little tree right there out. And maybe this one here so that we have a nice big area. Uh oh, I think there's a stump that I missed. We'll have to get that for sure. The stumps aren't a problem. Once you get the tree cut down, the stumps go OK. But whoo. Getting those trees cut down. My goodness gracious, that is that is not any fun at all. I've been doing this for over an hour. I have been cutting and trying to get these things down, and I am not done. But what are you going to do? Anything worthwhile is uh, not easy generally, that's for sure. So let's go ahead. Let's turn off the flight there. Oh, whoop, and back to the ground we go. Where's my tractor? There it is. So let's grab the tractor, let's grab the mower, and see if we can clean this area up a little bit. I think that's gonna make as big a difference, well, not as big a difference. That might've been an overstatement that I almost said. Ooh, turn, turn, turn. Wow, now that thing looks a lot bigger. Okay, so let's uh, unfold the mower. And, okay, and lower, turn it on, and we are off and running. Oh, this is, oh wow, this is a little different. Without a doubt, this is a little bit different than what I am used to using. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I have no idea what I'm doing with this thing. This is crazy. 
this thing's kind of all over the place. And I'm sure it's it's all me. Don't get me wrong. I know who's fault it is here it's this bad driving on my part but we'll get it we'll get it for sure now I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this grass I don't think it will go away I think it kind of has to be picked up or something you that guy come on you can get it hey get that there it is there it is. All right. I think I should have used a different mower. One that I am able to use. Maybe one that I'm capable of using. <laughs> That's all right. We'll get there. That's okay. There we go. There we go. Look at that. I'm a pro-ish. Ah, <laughs> uh, not even close. There we go. All right, so let me go through here and let me see about cleaning some of this up. And uh, I will get back with you in just a few. I think that is all that I need to mow. Now, a couple of things. I, uh, here, let's shut that off for a sec. I don't need to mow this. Uh-oh, look at that. I've got a stump over here we've got to get rid of, but we can handle that. The stumps aren't too bad, but as you can see, I could not help myself. I had to jump back in here and we got it cleaned out. It looks pretty good and I do not even want to discuss how much time this took because I took a little mini break and I came back and I was rejuvenated and there it is. Not too bad. There's a couple more trees there, but I'm like, you know, a few trees here and there. That's not too bad. If we need to get rid of them, we can. But overall, let's uh, let's hop out of here and let's uh, let's see if we can take a quick aerial view here. And it was not easy. Um, to, I do not know if it can be done on console or not. If you can do it, let me know how, because the only way I was able to do it is I literally I like I did before. I had to pick up the T-Rex and start at the top of some of those trees and just start working my way down. But that uh, cleaned up pretty darn nice. I think a few trees around are good. There might be one in that back corner over there I might have to get out of there. It looks kind of like a scrub brush. But overall, I would say what an improvement one day makes. Now, before I get too far, we're gonna come out here and we're gonna clean this guy up as well. So let me go ahead, let me grab the tracks there and head out there and see if maybe that tree will cut down a wee bit easier. I'm hoping. Oh, I'm definitely hoping. So I'm hoping we can just really get rid of this big old booger. And there it goes. Now see, that is the way it's supposed to go. Now there is a stump there. Oh, oh, come on back up here. There we go. Oh, man. See, it's just fighting me a little bit. Which is par for the course, I must say. <laughs> Definitely par for the course. Alright, let me... Oh, oh, I had it. I had it. And come on. There it goes. Now, I think this scrub over here... And sometimes this scrub brush can be the worst... Sometimes it goes just like it did there, and it's, oh, no problem at all. Ta-da! All right, so we've got that. Let me back up here. Hop on out of here. Shut that thing off. Woo! Let her wind down. All right. Now we need to come into here. A little landscaping. And I'm going to just try to smooth this out. So we're going to have to come in a plow anyway. But if we can get rid of that big old bump that's going on there, that is going to help us tremendously. I should have probably increased my brush strength. It's still doing stuff here. Let's do square. Oh. 
There we go. We can't really use the flatten tool here. I don't think that would work out so well. I think that looks pretty good. Let's hop down here and take a look. It's got a little bit of a mound to it. Uh, I guess that'll be all right, don't you think? It kind of follows the contour. A little bump. A little bit of a bump. Not too shabby. I might do a little bit more. Let's just see if we can get... I just keep watching my dollar signs, and if they go down, that to me, it means it's doing something. But I think that is about as good as we can get. I don't want to lower any. Every time I try to lower, it never lowers just a little bit. Digs a big old hole. So I think, I think that's all we can do. That's the best we can get. Let's hope that it works out well. That's what I'm hoping for, anyway. All right, there we go. I'm happy with that. So now what do we need to do? We've got our farm cleaned up. Everything that we need to do as far as landscaping is done. I got to do some plowing. But what I would like to do is our new field, field 48, if it hasn't turned, it has not. It de definitely needs another fertilization state. Now, I went ahead and parked the combine down here in hopes that maybe it would uh, go ahead and ripen. But it has not yet. Well, one, I shut the uh, time off while I was doing these trees. Or it would have been 5 o'clock in the evening. So I'm like, all right, that's enough. So if we're going to go ahead and get some fertilizer down, we need, we need a spreader. And I think I am going to go with a dry fertilizer. At least for right now, I might go ahead and switch to uh, liquid just because we don't have a lot of fences. The hedgerows are uh, we can go through, so that would be all right. But right now, I think I think I think I'm gonna do the the sulky here. I mean, the cheapest one really twenty one thousand, and it does. Wait, doesn't it do fifty meters? I'm confused. I thought the sulky did. Oh, ha, ha, ha. hold on. I am. Uh... There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Now that says tw that says 50 meters, but up top there, it says 24 meters. I'm not sure which to believe. We don't need a cover. I guess we're going to go either way. We should be just fine. Yes. Okay. So then we need some dry fertilizer. Dun, dun, dun. That's expensive. Okay. So we'll get two of those. Now, where is my tractor? Oh, wait. There it is. It's got a mower on it. So I'm going to grab the tractor, head to the store. And what I'll do is I'll just meet you guys at the field. Okay, let's uh, let's get up here and kind of take a look at our field here. Crank it up. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Let's back up a wee bit. Oh, this is so hard to see where we've been. Corn found it. I hate that. I have no idea if I'm getting to the edge, if I'm not getting to the edge. One thing, let's get rid of that. There we go. That's going to help. This is definitely a good size field. I think this was the field to go with. I mean, it already had fertilizer on it. It's soybeans. It's a good size. It wasn't too awful expensive. It wasn't cheap, mind you. But still, it wasn't crazy, crazy expensive. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna do us well. This is gonna be done in what? Three passes? Four passes? We'll have to see actually how well my coverage is. Because I do not know. Let's see, let's go over here. About right here. Let's try, let's try that. Hmm. But anyway, I think it's been a pretty good start. Those trees about kicked my butt, I have to say. 
So if somebody has a better uh, better way of getting rid of those things, so let me know. Now, I have seen where people have dug down around them and went at them that way. But I was like, I really don't want to be doing that. Then you're worrying about the landscaping and everything else, trying to get things back to look like they belong. Okay, well, we're doing all right. So I didn't want to dig down in there. But maybe that's the easier way to go and then try to level it all out. But then I'd have to re-put grass in there. And they said, I just didn't want to go at it that way. I really just wanted to sneak up and cut them down and move on my merry way. But that was not in the cards. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. This should get it. I see tire tracks on the left and the right. Kind of split the middle here. And see how it goes. That should do it right there. Let's shut that off. Pull up our map. No, don't do that. Go back. Look at that. I have to say I am impressed with myself because I just knew there were going to be little holidays all over the place where I missed it. With that, I think this is going to do it. I think we're going to call it right here. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I hope I uh, maybe showed you something. If nothing else, don't play with those trees. Those are those are a bear. Don't do that. If you don't like it, I would say uh, you, some of them you can clean up. But man, just figuring out which ones. If you want a clean farm, you might want to sell the one they give you and move to a new one. That might be the easiest way to go about it. But I already had so much vest, so much time vested in that. I'm like, nope, I'm doing it. Come hell or high water, we're, <laughs> we're going to clean up this farm. So thanks again, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, thanks for the likes, the subs. It's all greatly appreciated. Any input is good input. Be good, everyone. And until next time, see ya.